morning, Patty, and thanks for taking some time to chat with us today from the Guelph Arts Council. Thanks for having me. So with art galleries being closed, performing arts centers, theaters, everything's closed, gig cancellations for musicians, artists must really be struggling during this pandemic. What kinds of problems are they facing? Yeah, it is a really tough time for artists, no doubt. And it's, uh, it's, it's quite amazing how creative they're, they're being in this time. Um, you know, the arts are often very social by nature and, and we're not able to gather now for performances or readings, um, exhibition openings or arts festivals. So those things, that's really hit our sector hard. Um, locally, you've seen a lot of postponements of uh, arts events um, to the fall or even next year. Uh, things like Kazoo Fest, Hillside, Eden Mills Writers Festival, um, just as examples. And um, there's still a lot of uncertainty around when and how we're going to be able to have gatherings again. So we're still in a bit of a wait and see mode, um, but a lot of you know, a lot of arts festivals having to kind of call call it in terms of making a decision about their fall festivals even at this point. So um, there's also for individual artists a big impact because um, they're the people who are out there performing at some of those arts events and have have had gigs, uh, lots of gigs canceled, whether, whatever those types of gigs might be. Um, and so you're seeing now a lot of online things happening, um, which is pretty great, but artists are not always paid for those activities. So if there's ways that people can help out through online tip jars and that kind of thing, that's certainly, um, you know, a boost. Um, just a couple stats though, <clears throat> in terms of the, um, the impact around the province on arts organizations, uh, Ontario Arts Council has done a early indicator survey that's uh, showing a loss of revenue to arts organizations in the province of 128 million to the end of June, which is about an average of 16% of our annual revenues. And a lot of, you know, a lot of organizations having to lay off or reduce hours for staff. And 94% uh, of those organizations have at least canceled or postponed events. So that's kind of the impact on organizations around the province and uh, across Canada for individual artists, there's um, an organization that's come together called I Lost My Gig. Uh, and they have a survey that's out there nationally and uh, artists who've responded to that across the country have lost an average of over $24,000 in revenue. So um, that is a very significant hit on people's livelihood. Um, locally, we have uh, the Mayor's Task Force has just come together, um, the uh, Mayor's Task Force on Economic Recovery, and it's looking for impact stories, both from businesses, tourism, and the cultural sector to kind of help to inform advocacy and recovery strategies locally. So that's kind of the team. It's quite a large team that crosses sectors, but is collaborative in, in uh, trying to, you know, think about what, how we move forward from this. Yeah. Well, that's good to hear. How is the Guelph Arts Council helping to support artists during this time? Yeah, so we, I mean, we're working a lot differently than we usually would, and that feels very strange because we're normally open uh, four days a week and have lots of people just dropping in or phoning to uh, let us know how they're doing. Um, it's a little different now because we're engaging online and by email, um, still by phone, and um, we're available, although we're closed to the public. Um, but we have been working really hard to kind of connect artists to the resources that are out there for them in terms of support from government and so on. And, um, and also to connect the community with what artists are doing online so that they can uh, make their time at home a lot more interesting for one thing and to support our local artists uh, through their online activities, which is uh, the quite a lot. So we've been using our website or e-news or social media to do a ton of communicating 
about all of those things, sort of back and forth between artists and the community. And for sure, you mentioned uh, globally, we've seen artists all around the world have a greater presence doing concerts or even songs at a time, music numbers, collaborations from their homes, all over the world, putting their art out there on social media. But it's happening right here in Guelph as well. We've got local artists that are really still staying engaged with their community, still creating. Maybe you can share some of those good news stories. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, uh, it's just amazing to see how resilient artists can be and how creative, even in really tough times like this. Um, you know, a couple of local artists doing things that are interesting, like James Gordon's been doing online concerts, uh, Tragedy N has been doing concerts. Um, some of them are raising funds for other organizations, which is a testament to the generosity of our creative community. Um, Sharon Seabird has been making very colorful masks. There's um, a festival, an online festival called Stay Home Fest that Gain Music has organized online through a Facebook page. And uh, the art gallery, the museum, they're all offering online activities for families. Ed Video has been doing an interview series with artists, which is really interesting. And I know the Eden Mills Writers Festival is sort of transitioning to online programming, author readings and that type of thing. We're kind of um, trying to collect all of that. It's keeping us quite busy because there's a lot going on. We're trying as much as we can to include all of that on our website, but also in our e-newsletter and our social media channels. So we really encourage artists to let us know what they're up to so that we can share that to our subscribers and people who uh, connect with us online. So how can we help? What can we do? Yeah, so um, connecting is great. I mean, uh, we um, at guelfarts.ca, you can sign up for our e-newsletter and also um, just connect with us through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And um, we, you know, we certainly welcome people to get involved. We have lots of volunteers, but we can always use more help. So uh, just, you know, connecting with us to find out how to get involved would be great. Um, and engage with those artists online, check out all the things that they're doing and support them. Yes, we just spoke with um, Barbara Matthews as well about mm -hmm. her Kid COVID comic. And I know she's yeah. a big supporter of the Guelph Arts Council as well. Yeah, it's been, she's been a great supporter and such a fun creative person with her uh, Kid COVID co comic book and her, um, her um her mime lessons that she she had online those were so fun as well uh, so people like that are really helping us get through um, also i just wanted to uh, invite people to connect with the mayor's task force as well with their impact story so that can be done just by emailing mayor at guelph.ca and um, if Creative people and businesses could CC me as well, executive director at wealtharts.ca. We that is really helpful in terms of uh, gathering information and getting a real sense of how people are faring and how uh, our community leaders can help. Well, thank you very much for the work not just the work you've done in the past celebrating arts in our community, but the important work you're doing now to support artists during this difficult time. And thanks so much for talking to us today. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.